Okay. <laughs> and how many from Montpellier? Okay. Good. Good. It's half and half. Um. Uh, first, uh, I want to know your name and what instrument. What is like your primary instrument that you play? Karina, and I play the piano. Are you? I play the flute. I'm I play piano and flute. Sarah and play the flute too. Wow! And the contrabass. Ooh, contrabass? Yes. Okay. Grant, voice. Amandine, I play flute and piano. <laughs> I play uh, violin, flute, and uh, piano. Wow. Imogen? Say your name again. Amandine. Amandine. I like it. Marcus, right? Yes. My name is Marcus. I play the clarinet. My name is Mary Grace, and I play voice. Mm -hmm. My name is Ali, and my main instrument is voice. Uh, my name is Cleo, and I play the cello. My name is Jason Lee. I play uh, accordion. Okay. Uh, Deborah is saxophone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beryl, uh, violin and voice. Okay. Uh, Mario, voice and guitar. Okay. Uh, Bianca, voice. Yeah. And uh, piano and voice. Cool. <laughs> Libby, voice. Okay. Talia, voice. Cool. Mm -hmm. Lion, piano. Oh, yes. <laughs> Rhythm is what we're talking about today. <laughs> so, Ginny, right? Yeah. Okay, Ginny is going to be translating today. Let's play Ginny. Yeah. What do you play? I play guitar, voice, piano, and violin. Okay. <laughs> I like the drums because I, I want to be a drummer. I'm a fake drummer. <laughs> um, okay, so we have a problem. First off, the PowerPoint and the slides, it's not working. Do you, do you understand? Okay, uh, so do you have your packet, Sam Houston State packet today? Yes. Okay, good. So pull out the. Uh, Neurologic Music Therapy, Sensory Motor Rehabilitation. That's what I'm going to be speaking about. It's 9 o'clock, so we'll go till about 10, 20, maybe. Uh, so you have time to go to the restroom and go to the next class. Anyway, I am sad because you won't get to see the PowerPoint. It will be boring a little bit. <laughs> uh, I might be looking down a lot, but I will try to engage you. Um, I do have videos, though, so maybe we'll show the videos. Did you all go to the um, to the thing last night? Yeah? So you saw some videos already. You saw the power of rhythm. Uh, the example I used with um, the, the boy speaking with the drum, right? So... I love that. That is like, to me, that's the best example of rhythms. You understand? I'm just talking to you. Okay, so, uh, the first slide, it goes like left to right the whole time. Uh, do you know uh, Cliff's Notes? Do you know what that is? It's usually yellow. It's like, um, in French maybe, no. Um, you can explain. It's like... Uh, literature like maybe a story that you read but like the short version of it so uh, like you read Shakespeare I don't want to read the whole thing so I just read the Cliff's Notes and it like kiss me that's what this class is it's like the Cliff's Notes version of the neurologic music therapy training <laughs> Okay, and that's kind of what I want to express. Um, uh, please consider, you know, if you like what you're learning, to go and learn from Dr. Tao and his team. Is it good? Yeah. You want to do it? 
of the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> she understands it. Okay, so first, uh, I'll go through what we're going to talk about. Hopefully, we'll get it all. Hello. Hello. Come on in. Sorry. It's okay. Everything is going crazy today. What is your name? Laurence. 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 What do you play? What instrument? Uh, I'm a singer. Okay, cool. And you? Violanda. And violin? Accordion. Oh, accordion. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, I'm Megan, and I'm talking about sensory motor techniques. Okay. Did you bring this folder yes. today? Okay, good. Uh, the PowerPoint is not working in the slides, so I will be going through this way. Oh yeah, no problem. I'll just wait for you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's, what are we talking about today? We're going to talk about rhythm. Uh, we're going to talk about physical therapy a little bit in rehabilitation, because that's primarily where I'm working. Do you want to... Do it every time I, I'll go a little. Uh, Est-ce que, dites-moi si vous ne comprenez pas du tout en fait. Est-ce que ça va ou ça va Oui, ça va. Ça va. Uh, how the human brain processes rhythm. Do you understand Yeah, I think they all okay. understand. Okay. All understand Okay. How uh, rhythm affects your walking. Five, uh, some research in this particular area the neurologic techniques. Number seven, we're going to discuss some examples or see some examples of the sensory motor practice, hopefully. Um, we're going to learn how to assess gait like a PT would do, a physical therapist. Hello. Uh, and we're going, to, uh, I'll tell you where to go get involved to be trained and that sort of thing if you want to. And we're going to get to know each other, number 10. Maybe get to know each other a little bit. What's your name? Cillian. Cillian? What do you play? What instrument? Violin. Violin. Cool. And you? Ludivina. Okay. Cool. And one more back there. Maybe. We're filling up. So we're using this today. It's in your um, in your packet. It's the sensory motor, and my slides aren't working. So I give you some little quotes on rhythm. Let's just talk about rhythm a little bit, like the definition of it, it's because it's different for everyone. Some people that aren't musicians don't see it the same way. So the broad definition, rhythm is frequently used to refer to patterns of temporal distribution of events, objects, symbols, or signs in general. Do you understand? Okay. And then the narrower version. Yeah. Elle a dit en fait maintenant que le rythme, enfin, elle définit juste le rythme en fait. Alors, le rythme est souvent utilisé pour se référer au, à tout ce qui est euh, du, euh, du tempo, de la distribution des événements, des objectifs, des symboles et des signes en général. Okay. Okay, and the more narrow is that rhythm refers to like divisions of time or space into intervals, uh, recurring often, like in a state of um, repetition in a period. So that's how we think of it as musicians, especially. We need to. Donc euh, après elle parle du temps, c'est du temps. Donc euh, le rythme c'est la division du temps. Euh, de l'espace dans un intervalle de temps donné en fait. C'est clair ou qui est avec toi Donc voilà, c'est ça. Ok, cool. Dans une période aussi. <coughs> so, uh, do, you, do you know who Deep, Deepak Chopra? Have you heard of him? He's um, like a philosopher and a spiritualist kind of. Uh, his quote, Our biological rhythms are a symphony of the cosmos. 
music embedded deep within us to which we dance, even when we can't name the tune. Don't know the song. Ok, donc euh, cette personne dit que bah, notre rythme biologique, c'est la symphonie autour du cosmos, et que la musique est à l'intérieur de nous quand nous dansons et quand nous l'appelons un tube, en fait. Ça. Quand nous l'appelons un tube. Non. Enfin, genre un tube. Ça ne pas de... Okay, what about Michael Jackson? You know who that is, right? Yes. Great philosopher. No. Uh, uh, to live is to be musical, starting with the blood dancing in your veins. Everything living has rhythm. Do you feel your music? Ça commence avec le sang qui coule dans nos veines. Tout est euh, rythme. Et euh, est-ce que vous sentez la musique Est-ce que c'est plus facile de lire aussi Vous aimez ça Est-ce que c'est plus facile Ok, cool. Une dernière quote. C'est mon préféré parce que Michael Taub, le père de la musique neurologique, a dit ça. Le temps reçoit une structure dans la musique. Une peut dire que la musique structure within music. One may say that music measures and marks the flow of time. Okay. Donc euh, le temps rythme, enfin la structure, le temps structure euh, la musique. Donc ça veut dire en fait que la musique ouais, la musique mesure le temps en fait de la vie. C'est pas clair du tout. <rire> C'est ça. We need a microphone, huh? I, I, I studied opera, so it's like, oh, you know, like, I want to be really loud. <laughs> uh, so then I had some really pretty pictures, but they are black and white here. Can you tell who painted those pictures? La Chambre. Yeah. Fungo. Yeah. You say it right. Let's say it again. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. <laughs> better, better than me. Is, is it he, he was originally from close to here? Similar, like down the street. Yeah, something with an A. But basically, <laughs> basically, every, every type of art produces rhythm. Everything in our life has it. And so that's easy to prove. Um, and that's what I love about his paintings is that it's very rhythmic, you know, you can see it in the picture. Um, and then I talk about the drum. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Donc elle a dit que ce qu'elle aime bien dans cette peinture, c'est que tout a à voir avec la musique en fait. Oui, <laughs> Good. Okay. And then I talk about the drum a little bit. Uh, how important drumming together in community is um, in, in other cultures, like in African cultures. From more primitive cultures, they still use that in their everyday life. Okay, donc elle va parler de, 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 des instruments en percussif et l'importance que ça a dans la vie, ainsi, surtout dans les certaines cultures, surtout les cultures africaines et dans les cultures primitives, c'est vraiment très important toujours. Yeah, we may be more advanced, you know, in the sciences or whatever, but they are more advanced in using music as everyday life. Donc on est plus avancé dans tout ce qui est technologique dans la vie, mais ils sont plus avancés dans ce qui est l'utilisation de la musique. Yeah, yeah, and um, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Uh, the next page... You already saw the video clip that I was going to show you uh, last night, the boy talking with the drum, using um, the metronome to sort of entrain the speech. Okay. Donc, euh, elle montrait la vidéo, mais en fait, c'est celle qu'on a vue hier avec le garçon qui, euh, qui devait compter, en fait, euh, jusqu'à 5 et qui a pu euh, le faire. Cool. 